Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss the visitor design pattern which can be useful in certain situations and uh, let me show you the situations where it might be useful. So basically uh, let's say you have a class hierarchy and you want to extend the class with new behavior and uh, you want to keep this target class that you want to have new behavior simple. So what you can do is uh, distinct behaviors can be pushed to what is called the concrete visitors. So that's the visitor design pattern. So let me show it to you in action as to how to do it. So for that I have con uh, made a simple example where we have a class vehicle which has a cost of zero. And this is a, a virtual property. And then uh, we will override in three different concrete classes such as car, Camry and a truck and uh, we have set it to some fixed values. So if I run this program, which is basically here, uh, I say hello world and I get objects of all these three concrete types and then I can print the car cost. So if I run this, and I've already run it before, but I'll run it for you one more time. And uh, you can see the results are what we expected for all three. So let's say you wanted to extend this behavior without really changing these classes that much. So the first thing you want to do is in your vehicle or your the top class, you want to accept a visitor and uh, you would like to inherit from a class called I accept visitor and I'll show you what it is but let's just say you wanted to do this and you would say I'm accepting this visitor in all of these concrete classes now. So right now it is really not doing anything and this method actually uh, uh, what you do is you can say visitor dot accept and you can tell it to accept this current object. So this is uh, what you normally would do and it says it's not really a visitor does not have an uh, so I think uh, what we wanted to do was let me see I accept visitor is accept and visitor has the, just this width. So let's just do this one uh, where it is. Visitor dot uh, visit. Okay, so if you look at uh, what the accept visitor does, let's say if you go to the definition of the accept visitor, it is essentially an interface and it says that we would accept a visitor of type I visitor. So that's the typical uh, pattern here. And if you go into the I visitor, you can see it uh, essentially, uh, this is a visitor which can visit any vehicle. So we can, we are supposed to provide a method called visit and you can visit that Michael. So now you can see this program is kind of a, a, a works and it can accept a visitor in any of these uh, vehicles that we have. So what kind of visitors we would want to accept? So typically what you want to do uh, in this case, you would want to create a concrete visitor and I have created actually a sample concrete visitor here called promotion. So promotion is, uh, really uh, implementing this interface i visitor and uh, basically it means whatever vehicle cost we have uh, it is going to have some kind of a discount and the discount really is 0.9 so you when you visit it the discount or the vehicle cost would be basically 90 percent of what it was so that's a promotion visitor this is a concrete visitor uh, you could also have another concrete visitor in this example for our I'm calling it the markup visitor and this is that the demand for something is very high and you can you think you can get more money for it so the cost will increase by $7,500 as well so now what we have done is created two concrete visitors so then how do we uh, change the behavior or the cost so to do that is actually pretty simple and I'm going to copy some code here which I've already written and I'll explain it to you it's pretty straightforward there's not a whole lot of magic to it uh, basically uh, what I do is I create an object of the class promotion 
and I tell that uh, the car is having some promotion, car accepts promotion, Camry also accepts a promotion and here I have something called markup and I'm saying the truck accepts a marker and basically all this is all I need to do and my vehicle class is pretty stable because it might have some other behavior which I don't want to change or touch. So if I run this thing and let's see what the results are, what the cost should be and cost should really now reflect what I have done and uh, you can see the this is 90% uh, of that, this is 90% of that and the truck has a marker. So that's pretty much how the visitor pattern works and I can uh, re-emphasize this. Basically what you're doing is extending the class with new behavior. Uh, you don't really change the target class that much. You keep it focused and simple and you push all other distinct behaviors to concrete visitors. So if you have an example where you want to do this, uh, this class uh, visitor pattern is an excellent way to do this. And I'm going to add this video on my website under C sharp uh, visitor design pattern in whatever time it took me to do this video. Thank you and you have a great day.